Today we're going to be looking at the best prompts to use to get amazing results in DALI 2. DALI 2 is absolutely amazing for creating amazing AI art, but it's only as good as the prompts you put into it. By prompts, I mean the words, the sentences you give DALI 2. So the better prompts, the better words you can give it, you can input into the system, the better results you'll get. So the, the idea you have in your mind to output it into DALI 2, you need to feed it really good prompts and there's techniques and ways of doing that. So in this video, I'm looking into the best prompts to get amazing results. So let's get into it. Here we are back in DALI on the iPad. And if you remember in the last video, there's two wee tabs up here. One's DALI where we can generate our images and another one is called My Collection. And you will see the generations we have made so far. That's where we ended in the last video. In this video, we're really going to look more into prompts. So we started off with a photo and then we went to pencil and watercolors, 3D renders, and then digital art. I'll go back to DALI. And for the purposes of this video, I think it'd be nice to generate something and then keep it consistent, but with different styles, different prompts, just to see what the finished outcome would look like. And uh, I'll be interested myself to see how it turns out. If we open up a new tab and simply type in dallery dot gallery forward slash the dash dally dash two dash prompt dash book and don't worry if you didn't get all that because there's a link in the description of this video and and that link will bring you to this absolutely fantastic web page which is the dally 2 prompt book this is absolutely gold i will just scroll down the website a wee bit it just tells you a bit about the prompt book a wee bit about DALI and it even gives prompts to use different AI generation tools. Um, yeah, there's a bit of information, but the gold or what we're really looking for is up here and it's the DALI 2 prompt book. So you can go through it here like this or, or blow it up big. Or my advice to you would be to download the PDF. It's opening it up in a new tab for me. Feel free to download it. Have a good read at it. If you're making anything in DALI, I highly encourage you to download this book and to take a look at it or maybe even have it open on a separate tab or a separate window as you make your creations because it's it's, it's gold and you'll see that now. So it gives you a wee bit about DALI to game changing new AI tool gives you some examples and then it's telling you a prompt is a sentence 400 characters or less that describes the image you want. With DALI, the prompt you give it, the better prompt you give it will be closer to the image or the idea you have in your head. So prompts are very important because yes, it's AI, it generates stuff, it's so, so impressive, but it's only as good as the prompts you give it. And if you give a very short prompt, it'll give you a very simple design. If you give it something a bit more with detail, it'll maybe get closer to what you have in your mind. So let's go down to the good stuff. Uh, you can read all this. I'm just flicking through it. General vibes. Dali, you can put emotional prompts into your work. So this wee guy here, positive mood, low energy, negative mood, low energy. So you can add moods and there's lots of different moods here that you can have. Light, peaceful, calm, sincere, smoothing, relaxed. The list is, is nearly endless. So many different prompts for emotion in Dali. Size, structure, big and free, small and structured, small and free. And again, there's lots of different words. And if you just take maybe an emotion, if you take a, a size, you can really start to build up a really good prompt. And the looks and the vibes, this here is absolutely fantastic. Viperwave, gothic and fantasy, cyberpunk, really, really different styles. And you can actually check out the list here if we're clicking this wee link. And there's absolutely tons and tons of styles, limitless nearly, that you can go for Dali. So we'll, we'll hit back. So many different styles. It's unbelievable. And shortly I'm going to generate something and we're going to try to do it. The same subject, but different prompts or different styles to see what Dali can do. Photography, when you're thinking about photography, how's the photo composed, what emotions we were talking about earlier. You can even have how close you are to the subject, what angle, the depth of field, the tilt, the lens you're using, the type of camera, the year it was taken. We could have a vibrant photograph of a subject, wide shot, outdoors, sunset, full of golden hour, wide angle lenses, soft focus, shot in an iPhone 6 on Flickr in 2007. Unbelievable the amount of detail. And it tells you the framing, the film type, the context, it tells you the, the vibe, the framing, the shooting context. There's, there's so much. So let me go a wee bit quicker here because this document is so, so powerful. 
all different camera angles and positions, different lenses, different lighting prompts, indoor and outdoor, different types of photography and creative photography. There's absolutely so, so much illustration. It gets even more exciting because we're going to have a stencil, ballpoint pen, pencil drawings. There's so, so much. And it goes on. Tons of different illustration types. Chinese watercolor, watercolor, airbrush. L look at this. Collies, photo college, storybook, digital painting, illustration styles and instructional, 3D and textured. There's lovely 3D renders, claymation. Look at this. This this here document is absolutely gold. 1990s Disney pixel art, Pixar's kind of animation style. We could go on and on and on. Art history, different types of art history, modern art movements. Let's get into the good stuff. We'll, we'll pick a subject and we'll try some of these 3D artwork. Again, get this document places and spaces, paper and tech textures, and it goes into techniques, and we'll maybe leave techniques for another video, but let's go back to DALI, and this generates something, and this use the same kind of prompt, but with different styles, just for a bit of fun to see what we'll come up with. I've simply typed in a happy furry monster wearing a Santa hat on a skateboard in the forest, and sometimes DALI likes a few commas, so a happy furry monster We'll put a comma there, wearing a Santa hat. We'll put a comma there on a skateboard. Put a comma there in the force. And then we'll go back to our gallery and let's see, let's give it some, uh, let's give it a certain kind of style. I like this idea, pepper wave. Hit generate. And this is always the fun bit. Look at that. A happy furry monster wearing a Santa hat on a skateboard in the forest in the style of Fepper Wave. Some of these is quite cool. I really like this one, I think. It's maybe my favourite. And I maybe like this one too. And it's always good to do in the style of. So we've done that. We will do in the style of something else. Is there anything here Bob wants? There's so many. We'll do maybe in the style of a photograph. And look at that. That is really cool. Some of them look more uh, photo real than others. That is cool. Really, really cool. Some of these. Uh, and you can just see if we're clicking the collections here, just the differences the style makes. Dali, unbelievable. We'll do a few more. We'll maybe go for pencil drawn for this one. Hit generate. And again, a few brilliant, brilliant styles. In the style of pixel art. Oh, how cool is that? Especially number two, straight from a computer game, that one. In the style of a 3D render. Whoa, that is very, very cool. Especially number three, jumping on that skateboard. In the style of a child's drawn. This here should be quite good. Or not, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. Love it. I think number three. Number three has it for me in the style of watercolor. And that is really nice. I think number three for me, again, is, is really, really nice. Revert back to this here book. It's absolutely fantastic. Give it a good read through. There's, there's so much. There's so much you could do. Pop art. I did a tutorial on pop art a wee while ago in the Finley photo. So we'll maybe just, we'll end it on that one to see if this will put me out of a job. Whoa, that is mad. Uh, especially like number three again. So different prompts. I've been using the same picture throughout this. You can see yourself, Dali, you can go into so much detail. Definitely download this book. Definitely have it with you when you're using Dali. It's great for inspiration and inspiring you and for idea generation. And I can't recommend it enough. So there you have it, DALI 2 Prompts. This book, this resource is absolutely amazing. Please download it, the link's in the description below. Have a good read through it. If you're making anything in DALI 2, have it on the screen or print it out and, and go through it and it'll really help with your AI art generations. And let me know in the comments below some of the best prompts you have got to get the best results. I'll look forward to reading and replying to those comments. Please feel free to subscribe as there's a few more DALI 2 videos coming out. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.